We are three days into Indiana's legislative session, and education is one of the top issues lawmakers have been tackling. That's welcome news for the thousands of teachers from across Indiana who rallied at the State House less than two months ago. Now that Congress has gotten to work on their demands statewide, RTV6's Cornelius Hawker shows you what teachers can expect to pass this year and the initiatives that will most likely have to wait on. Red Fred really helped, that rally really helped us to rally the troops, as they say. Ben Yoder was one of the more prominent teachers at November's Red for Ed rally, where they were asking legislators for things they say will allow them to be better teachers for students. We're continuing to try to put pressure on legislators and keep that, keep that momentum going. The 2020 legislative session started on Monday, and one of the first orders of business was to do something about iLearn, the state standardized testing. Less than half of Indiana students met expected achievement levels from last spring's test. House Bill 1001 would protect teachers from being penalized for their students' iLearn performance. It would also put in place a two-year delay in using iLearn scores for school ratings, giving schools time to adjust from the I-STEP exam. That is a very positive step in the right direction. We have always said uh, that, that these tests uh, being coupled to teacher evaluations really isn't fair. While many teachers are celebrating the iLearn bill, they know pay raises are more than likely off the table. But Ben, he's remaining optimistic. Even though this isn't a budget year for us here in Indiana, we still believe there are things that our legislators can do to help ease some of the burdens that we are, uh, that we are facing right now in education here. I've talked to Ben three times now, and each time he's made it very clear. There are thousands of teachers who feel just like him. They love their jobs, their students, their community. They're hoping legislators see and consider that commitment. We intend to continue to remind them in nice ways uh, that this is something important, that this is an investment uh, in, in our state's future. Tomorrow morning, a Senate Democrats plan to hold a press conference at the State House about their teacher pay raise bills, but Republicans will more than likely shut that down because they do control the Senate. Governor Holcomb says that he also plans to address teacher pay raises in his state of the state address next week, but he hasn't told us exactly what he's going to say or what he plans to do. Working for you. Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. And House Democrats tried on Tuesday to give teachers a one-time bonus of around $4,000 each from $291 million in unexpected state tax revenue. But that was shut down by Republicans saying they agreed with Holcomb's office that it would not be best to use that money for that purpose. Instead, the funds will be used for college campus construction projects.